Hello there guys, my name is Coach Chad Longsterborn, but built for theme park news and welcome to a theme park predictions video. Now this isn't a five year plan. This is exactly the next roller coaster. Now this is for Lightwater Valley. So I want to give a big shout out to Liam Barry, Alfie Gascoigne and David Ledbitter for requesting the five year plan video. That's coming in a few weeks. However, this video is to sort of give you an idea of what I think the next roller coaster will be. Now I will start doing these for other parks as well, so it's not just going to be five year plans. It's also going to be my next roller coaster uh, opinions. So. You know, if there's any coasters past the next five years that I think could be coming into the park, then obviously they'll be in separate videos and then I'll go over them again in five years' time during the five year plan, see if my predictions changed or anything like that. But I can tell you straight away that, that this sort of coaster, this new next coaster for like Water Valley, this won't be involved in the next five years for, five, for my five year plan at like Water Valley between 2021 and 2025. So this is like for sort of after 2025, in my opinion. So. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please share with your friends, your family, and on social media. And make sure you keep getting your questions in using the hashtag question before or after your question. And this is to help us for our milestone Q&A session for when we do celebrate 2,000 subscribers when we hit that milestone. So when we hit that milestone of 2,000 subs, we'll release the Q&A about a week afterwards. So... Let's get straight into this video then. So we've got two sites to talk about. One is specifically a coaster site, and the other one is actually, in fact, an expansion of the park. Now, obviously, I believe... Now, one of the areas we believe is owned by Lightwater Valley because, of course, one of the coasters runs around it, and you'll know which one I'm talking about. But let's get straight into it and start with the first coaster site. So on your screen now... Fandabadozi, this is coaster site number one. And coaster site number one is in fact in sort of next to the Wild Water Rapids and of course the jumping pillow attraction for the kids. Uh, so this is replacing Twister, Skate Carts. We know Skate Carts is closed, Twister's gone. Um, there's like an old maze, I guess, like a brown piece of land on Google Earth. I've faded the image a little bit so you can see a little bit inside. But it's like a brown hedge type thing. There's all that green space right there next to it as well. So there's plenty of expansion space to play with next to it. However, as you can already tell by the layout, if you know about your European parks, I think we could be looking at a Vacoma Bermuda Blitz. Now, obviously, this is not in Lightwater Valley's price range. However, it's my dream addition to the park. I think if they did get a nice sum of money in, I think this would be a perfect fit for the park. Now, obviously, the Let Coaster uh, at Legendia in Poland is what we're basing this on. This would be a clone, of course. Um, obviously, Vacoma is the cheap, it was one of the cheapest manufacturers. We know it's you no, know, not more expensive than a B and M or an Intamin or a Mac or you know Ger even Gerstlau is more expensive. Now, Vacoma may be the cheaper one. However, I think the quality of coaster may be different for Lightwater Valley's target market. Now, obviously, the Bermuda Blitz is my dream edition, but I could also see a Family Boomerang, a Family Suspended coaster, one of them maybe. Uh, but I would like to see a Vacoma on this site. Now, obviously, this will be replacing the Twister, the skate carts, and that brown sort of hedge thing opposite Wildwater Rapids. So it would run right near to the rapids, and, of course, you'd have to do a whole redevelopment of that section of land, remove all the pathways connecting it, do an alternate route uh, around the construction site, and then, obviously, uh, build it back up when it operates. Now, another coaster I could see on that site is also G-Force. Now, G-Force from Drayton Manor is the Morrison X-Car roller coaster. It was dismantled uh, this year, in, 20, in 2019 and 2020. Um, it was left SBNO in 2018, 2019, but towards the end of it and into 2020, it was, we saw it, you know, getting dismantled. And G-Force, I don't think, is going to the scrapyard from what we know so far. I think G-Force is going to go somewhere else. And I think Lightwater Valley would be a good contender for the ride. Now, whether it would be outside of the price range or not, especially since it's not an, a, a from scratch coaster, but it's rather a um, coaster being bought from another park. So, obviously, the price range is going to go down a bit compared to a coaster from scratch. Uh, G-Force would be a good fit for the park because it's a, it's a good... It's, it, I know people don't rate it in the coaster community, but it's still a GP ride. It's a general public ride that people can enjoy sometimes. I know people have complained about it in the past, including the general public. 
but I think with a few modifications and send it to Valley, I think Lightwater could operate it as a good ride. And I think it would work very, very well in the park. I can just, you know, imagine it in the park's advertising campaigns in the future seasons. The second site on your screen now, Fandabidozi, you can see multiple rides. Now, this, in my opinion, will be the next expansion of the park. Now, those are just five rides I could see. Uh, in this ultimate area expansion of the park you get into it via a bridge so you create a bridge uh, over one of the ultimate pieces of track so you connect the path to the expansion area and basically yeah those are the five rides I or five ride types I could see in this expansion obviously you'd see more fa a few more family rides as well but in terms of main attractions these are the five rides I could see so you can see go jetters on there uh, which is a Garmin Dale sort of spinning flat ride. Uh, you've got the Zampola Endeavour, you've got the Zampola Disco Coaster, you've got a Super Air Race, or just a normal Air Race will do, but I think Super Air Race would be a dream fit, would be cool. Uh, but you can also see a coaster. Now, right next to the Air Race is a Gerstler Eurofighter. Now, this is a 410 model, uh, which is the same as SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Bikini Bottom Plunge. Um, which is at Nickelodeon Universe um, over in the States. Uh, so like I said, it's a 410 model. So if you basically, if you want the uh, specifics of it, if you want the specific, um, you know, um, ba well, basically the statistics of the ride uh, for a 410 model, uh, two inversions, two minutes of ride experience, 43.5 miles per hour, a height of 74.5 and a length of 1,301.4 feet. That is the exact statistics of Rock Bottom Plunge, Rock Bottom Plunge uh, at Nickelodeon Universe in Bloomington, Minnesota. Now, obviously with this one, it could be a little bit lower, it could be a little bit smaller, however, it would still be the same layout. Now, of course, it could be a different layout, it could be a smaller one with one inversion, it could be a clone of Rage at Adventure Island, which I would like to see at the park, uh, or it could be a completely different coaster altogether. It could be something like a, uh, again, going on the logistics of a family boomerang or a family suspender coaster or even bring in G-Force from Drayton Manor. So, there we go. So that is looking at my dream picks and my realistic picks for Lightwater Valley's next coaster. So a lot of Vekoma in there, a Gersla, and the relocation of G-Force in there as well. Now, of course, G-Force has been up in the air for quite some time now, quite some months. I've been talking about in the past how where I want to see this go, Lightwater Valley could get it, uh, Pleasurewood Hills could get it, anyone could get it really, even in and outside of the UK, even in Europe, anyone could get it. But I wouldn't expect a new coaster at Lightwater Valley for a few years yet. I'd expect little investments here and there. However, I personally believe that, you know, I think that Lightwater Valley could be adding something past 2025. I think something major like this will come around 2026 to 2028 maybe. Um, I know the owners of the park would love to grow the park and I'm sure they've got plans to grow the park and they've got aspirations of growing the park and using that ultimate expansion area fill in something in Twister Spot, something like that. And I think that these rides and attractions should be looked at. A disco coaster, a spinning flat ride, an Endeavour, um, a Eurofighter, or a Let Coaster would be fantastic. Or like I said, any of the Vacoma option, uh, other Vacoma options, and of course the relocation of G-Force as well. So all this could build up the park. It really, really could. Obviously, people are going to joke around and say RMC Ultimate. I really don't see happening. I, I, at, at best, if they had the budget, at best, I think Gravity Group could come in and retrack it. But that's what I'd see at best. I don't think we're going to see anything done to the Ultimate. I think it's going to pass its time now. But I believe in around 15, 20 years, I think it could get removed, in my opinion. I think it, they'll have a new coaster sort of running around that layout maybe so uh, it's going to be very interesting to see the future of Lightwater Valley I want to see the park still go I want to keep it going I want the park to keep going and I want to see new investments at the park but it's just a case of when really uh, so thank you very much guys for watching this Lightwater Valley Next Coast Predictions video please like, comment, subscribe and for now guys my name is Coast Shell Kill the Coast Life and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys I'm not Sunday